will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. And welcome everyone to our Mass of St. Catherine of Siena. 
which has always been the mass that we celebrate at the end of our school year. So it's, we want to continually uh, honor St. Catherine, but also we want to continually uh, really reflect on the end of our school year. So we welcome everybody in their homes as we gather together. I have the Dominican sisters here, as Catherine of Santa is a wonderful Dominican. And it's also Catherine of Santa was born, uh, believe it or not, uh, in the 14th century during the worst plague that the world has ever seen, the, the death plague, as they call it, the bubonic plague. So she may be a good uh, uh, person to pray to during our own uh, pandemic and uh, that the healing will go on in our world. So let us pray. Lord, you call us to the people of hope, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You call us to the people of compassion, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You call us to the people of patience, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of the bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. His love is everlasting. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for, for God, God is good. good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give, Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. His, His mercy is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, for God, God is good. His love is everlasting. Alleluia. 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 I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. 
and you are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you servants, but a servant to, because a servant does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It is not you who chose me, but I chose you. It was not you, and, and, and I not only chose you, but appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. For this I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now the Everybody except the freshmen know that uh, in this last Mass that we have in the Feast of St. Catherine's in uh, Siena as we kind of close the school year, the Dominican preachers usually give a reflection on, on the year. So we're going to hear from them again uh, today, and uh, they're going to reflect on a lot about these two readings. You know, the, during the Easter season, the Gospel is about Jesus leaving uh, this world, but he's leaving this mandate to us as well as to the apostles to love one another. And then the, the, the first reading is a wonderful reading where people are at home sharing with one another, breaking bread with one another. A great way to uh, remember what is going on this year, particularly in our school year. So we're going to listen to now a little reflections on the gospel or the first reading by the preachers. This is my command, love each other. Our theme for this year is called to his purpose. This idea begs us to look at ourselves and to discover the purpose that God has crafted specifically for each one of us. During this pandemic, it can feel almost impossible to find a purpose, not only for ourselves, but also for the situation the world finds itself in. However, it's in this chaos where everything seems to be overwhelming and the future is uncertain, that God shows us humanity's common purpose, to love. We are here to love as God loves. In the gospel today, God puts into the simplest terms what our purpose is during this time and throughout all of our lives. We need to reach out our hands and our hearts and completely love and embrace our brothers and sisters and this planet, now more than ever. I believe that through these troubling times, God is calling us to take a step back, to recognize and to appreciate where we, re where we receive love and where we can love more. I believe our purpose right now is to take a breath, find the good, give some love, and discover more of the purpose God has for us. To love ourselves and those around us is the most powerful force that we can bring into this world. Therefore, let us do as God does and love each other. This is a new time for us all. We cannot see the ones we love and we cannot feel their embrace. We are told to wash our hands after we touch anything and to wear a mask when we go out for essential needs. Fear is running through our minds and questions with, of uncertainty keep popping in our heads. However, there is still good that has come for this. Not only is the earth a little more healthy, but our relationships with our family have grown. By spending every day with them, you learn many new things, both good and bad. In the reading, it says, they broke bread in their homes and ate together with a glad and sincere heart, praising God and enjoying the favor of all people. For me, this hit very close to my heart. Since quarantine began, my mom had the idea that each of us would make a dinner once a week. This, is, this has become something I look forward to every day. My littlest brother has only made breakfast food and it is an accomplishment if he eats your dinner. My younger brother thinks he's become a master chef after making stuffed burgers and homemade mac and cheese. Both of my parents have been making their food from their childhood and I have found the love for making milky and I now know how to use the grill. But with all of this, it has allowed my family to sit down at the table and eat together, something that rarely happened. By sharing stories about what we did that day or things we want to do once we can leave, Spending time with my family around the kitchen table has meant so much to me. Being a senior, I won't be around for much longer, 
So every dinner with my family is a dinner I will keep close to my heart. What is going on right now may seem like a curse. Seniors are losing their last day of high school. Events are being canceled that people have been looking forward to for a very long time, like spring break trips or prom. But this can be seen as a blessing in disguise. As we sit in the comfort of our homes, we have to listen to God's voice and hear the good he has planned for us all. Today, John's Gospel reads, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father, I will give you. Now, I don't think this school year went exactly how anybody wanted it to. No one chose for this temporarily new way of living. We did not choose to have our activities canceled, whether that be our sports, theater shows, jobs, or internships. We didn't have a say in any of it. However, God made a choice. And maybe right now we don't understand his reasonings. Maybe we never will, but that doesn't mean they weren't necessary. <laughs> you see, every part of God's plan has a bad, but also a good. So in times like these, we need to take a step back from only searching for the bad and instead try to find the good. We can take this time of isolation and solitude to reflect on not only who we are right now, but who we want to be in the future. Think of every opportunity lost as an opportunity in itself. God has given us an opportunity to spend more time with our families and ourselves, to spend more time to focus on Him and the truly important things in life, like being there for one another to lift each other up. You see, I do this thing where at the end of every day, I take the time to reflect and think of at least three good things that happened that day, even if they're just as small as eating the food I like or simply texting a friend. It reassures me that no matter how bad a day I've had, there's always at least some good in it. I think that's something that we all need to remember the most right now, that no matter how bad things may seem, there's always some good in it and that it will always get better. Love where love feels undeserved. Being away from school, my family, my friends, and my activities has made me feel like I've misplaced a piece of who I am. From spending my days moving constantly and jumping from place to place and taking care of everything that I could to spending the majority of my times indoors it became easy for me to feel alone and even sad during this quarantine. But with time to myself, I've been able to reflect on my relationships. Quarantine has changed the way I look at what love is and how love radiates. I knew the deepness of love, whether it be for my friends that I FaceTime and bask in their smiles, or my parents who will peek their heads in my doorway to ask, if I'm, to ask if I'm okay, even after I've assured them that I am or the teachers that reach out beyond what they have to just to check in on me, or the way I feel the warmth of God's embrace when I feel alone. Love exists in so many ways around me, for me and of me. But it took a conversation with a friend to realize that I didn't exhibit that same love for myself. Our gospel today states in verses nine and 10, as the father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commands and remain in his love. The love of Christ is promised to me because I follow him and his commands and I can feel comfort in his promise to love me. But this spoke to me in the sense of, if Christ loves me so abundantly, why can I not extend that same love to myself? If he has deemed me enough to be loved, I am enough to be loved by myself too. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whenever you speak, you ever ask in my name, the Father will give to you. This is my command. Love each other. 
The gospel concludes with these words to express that there is purpose in who we are. We are designed just as God intended from the innermost parts of ourselves to the people we are when we exhibit our own acts of love for others. We have and will bear lasting goodness as that's the way we were carefully created. We were not created without the capacity to be loved. We were created in and of love. And it's this lesson that I've been slowly beginning to understand for myself. When talking to someone else a few days ago about their struggle with self-love, I said, I wish you could see yourself the way I see you. And they returned the gesture. And I think that's how Christ sees us when we struggle with self-doubt and self-love. The love I've been offered by every person in my life and the love God has offered me has shown me that I am not the accumulation of all my shortcomings or mistakes. I am the culmination of all the good I was intended to be. And I'm deserving of love from me. So let us have now, let us pray together with very special prayers on this feast day. Although this school year is ending while we are at home, may our hearts be filled with gratitude for academic strides we have attained, the friends that we have made, and the fun we experienced in sports, the arts, and the many organizations and events of the year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in gratitude for the faculty and staff, as well as our parents and grandparents, who have guided us in our education through these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the first responders in this virus crisis, as well as the multitude of workers behind the scenes, may they be spared from this illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those infected with this disease, may they return to good health. And those suffering economically, May they return to work the workplace soon, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, may they experience eternal peace. And those who have suffered loss of a loved one, may faith in the resurrection be their consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the senior class of 2020, as they go on to the next big step in their education, and for the underclasses, as they move up to more responsibilities in the school, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. I want to also add that uh, many of you have sent in int intentions that I use and say in our, my private masses, and those intentions are a special way we remember today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for listening to our prayers and those within our hearts. We thank you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, through the goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through the goodness we have this wine to offer, through the vine work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. For brothers and sisters that are sacrificed, may we suffer with God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Accept the Lord the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you the one true God. 
We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all in this time, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, we we'll come with Easter joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with their angelic hosts sing together the end in heaven of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are our full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the Father of holiness. Because therefore, I guess we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, they may be come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and who is commanded to celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night of betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise, broke the bread and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was done, he took the cup, and he gave you thanks and praise. He had a cup to the disciples and said, Take this all of you and drink from it. So since the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, it will be shed for you and for all, so that sin will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread, this bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks you, Bellus, worthy and to be in presence and serve you. How will we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be given to one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the false of charity together, Pope Francis and our Bishop Blaise. Remember also our brothers and sisters of fall sick of the resurrection and all died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband Joseph, the Apostles, St. Catherine and Siena, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, the mighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And together now, let us pray in prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from everyone. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety, as we wait joyful over the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours is now and forever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other now a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the taste of wind since the world. Blessed are those who call to this supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be I know that you can't. 
again, I would say that you've been in the hall, but eating and sharing and breaking bread together is a very Eucharistic action. So hopefully this will be a good time to reflect on what the body of Christ is all about as you listen to the uh, particular song at the same time. table in which we have been fed, O oh Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine. We ask this through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Before our final blessing, I just want to make a couple of announcements to all of you out there in the home. First of all, we miss you. I certainly miss, and the, the sisters miss you for our little masses in the morning with all the spring sports and organizations, and we certainly miss all the spring sports, as you do. Uh, and, and secondly, I want to wish the uh, seniors, hopefully we'll see them in July, uh, actually see them uh, together in a stage, and, but we certainly wish them a wonderful future as they go on to their next stages in their life. And for those juniors who, have, who are interested in being Eucharistic ministers and have applications, hang on to them and we'll get, them to, we'll get them back to me when we get back to school. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master said, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another. To walk humbly with God. Come, open your heart and show your mercy to all those in fear. We are called to be hope for the hopeless, so all hatred and blindness will.